Hey guys, again, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on June the 26th, 2015. It's a Friday here in Shanghai, China. Bit of a gloomy day today, not too happy. Uh, but I've got my bright sunshine light on, so it's all good. Um, I wanted to do a quick video to give you a general update of what we've been looking at, what we've been doing this past week or so, uh, just to keep some videos posted on this free channel as well, because I know a lot of you have been following for a long time, uh, probably like three years now, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and also on the forum as well, howtomakemobilegames.com. So I just wanted to keep uh, you guys sort of in the loop of what's happening. So uh, recently we, uh, we've released the game on iOS and I wanted to share some, uh, some information with you guys and just some stats as well. So this is Kill the Ragdoll Stickman Boss. Uh, and this is a ragdoll game where you basically push this guy off this platform and give him as much pain as possible. So that's on iOS right now. And we had some pretty good uh, results on this so far. So let me just open it up. And I wanted to show you guys, share this with you guys quickly. Hopefully my internet isn't going to be too slow because the internet here is awful at the moment. This past few days has been really bad, really, really, really bad. Um, and I want to share some other tips as well with you guys. Uh, Okay, my, my chart boost is just loading up, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, usually I keep this on the screen, but there might be some things that I can't uh, share with you, so I just wanted to turn the camera away for a second. And, uh, yeah, so uh, it's now available on iOS, and, yeah, some pretty good results so far. Uh, I guess, you know, not bad for the first few days with, like, zero marketing almost, but there, check out the downloads. First day, 831. 1,030, 1,123, and I'll just zoom out a little bit there, you guys can see, and then the boot up's also increasing as well, that's good, meaning that the game is hopefully interesting, uh, but this is great here, 40, almost $45 in one day on chart boost, that's really good, um, and then like a big drop there, even though it was more clicks and more downloads, the eCPM has dropped here, so I've got to do some chart boost optimization for this game for sure. <laughs> Um, but this is the first week for this game, you know, on iOS. Usually the first week does have a boost. It's only had three full days. So hopefully in the weekend this will jump up. I expect the game to drop down to like between one to 200 downloads per day after this first week on iOS. That's usually the way it goes. Um, which is why we obviously... Our business model is to create the games fast and get them into the market, but improve each game as well. Uh, you know, find out what's working, what's fun, and what's not so fun. So this one, um, we've tried to make the games a little bit more funny recently. I think the icon has attracted some attention. We also did some A-B testing on this icon and found out that, uh, well, actually, the other one was better. Um, and I didn't apply it to this one. But it seems like on iOS, it's definitely getting the downloads so far. Uh, trying to be a little bit more fun and cartoony with the games. Making something a little bit more interesting, not just games which are like, uh, how can I explain it? No more like uh, catch-up style games. Um, catch-up did some really popular games and have done very, very, very well uh, on iOS. They did their like zigzag recently. Two Cars was another one. Um, oh, what else? Did I? I can't remember all of the names, uh, but they're, they're always in like the top 10 immediately. The games are fun and small, uh, but there's nothing kind of funny or catchy about them, if you know what I mean. There's nothing like to, to draw the audience in, you know, um, in my opinion, just my opinion. Uh, the reason that they are very successful is obviously because they've managed to hit that top spot, you know. Uh, if it was another company that did zigzag, then probably they'd be not even half as successful. So we're trying to do something now that's attracting the audience in terms of name, but also focusing on SEO. So we did do SEO for this game uh, before we actually built it, which has been our change recently. Focus on SEO first and then build the game. Don't build the game and then choose the SEO later. I've made that mistake so many times. Uh, and even now I still continue to make it sometimes. So I've got to, um, got to change that one for sure that approach. So uh, let me just check my notes here, guys. Yeah, so I need to do some chart boost optimization. I'm going to be doing a video on chart boost optimization. That's going to be on the pro channel. Uh, so my apologies if you're subscribed to the free channel, uh, but not on the pro channel. But uh, there's a lot of articles online about chart boost optimization. There's also some videos on YouTube 
uh, about that as well. So uh, it's had a good impact for us doing chart boost optimization. ECPM increased, but you've got to continue to do it because new ads from advertisers come out all the time. And that might be dropping your uh, click through rate and install rate if you're a publisher. So, uh, other big update as well, VR project has now started. Yeah, so in PandaTap, we've started to do a VR project and I've got the Oculus Rift DK2 at last. Thank God it's arrived. Uh, this costs $700 for PandaTap to get here. Uh, in good condition, it came from Louisiana in the US. Not been opened, well, we have opened it and I have put it on, but we've not hooked it up yet, so I need to do that real soon. Uh, we started a VR project uh, this week with our new developer for PandaTap. So it's great to finally start to build something new. Uh, the reason that we're looking at VR now, a lot of people have said, oh, VR might not be as make as much money as it did uh, as Android or iOS does. Uh, that's true because at the moment it's not a mature market, thank God. The whole point of getting into VR now is the idea that eventually it will be very popular. I've tested VR, I've seen the buzz around it. It's a different experience compared to this, you know, screen that's away from the player. It's a whole new sort of uh, level of experience if, if it's done well. Um, so I think eventually it's really gonna pick up. So we've got time now. We've also got a little budget with PandaTap to uh, build something really cool and not just do this like one week business model thing, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but for us, I would really like us to get our teeth into building something really awesome that people are, you know, spend days in, you know, and they really enjoy it and they're willing to, like, you know, purchase things in the game as well in order to, you know, like, uh, increase their experience. So uh, I'm going to do more inf videos on that soon and talk a little bit more about the VR challenges. And I also already did, I already did a video on that. Uh, but it's great to sort of finally be in to uh, start our VR because I've been talking about it and thinking about it for a month or so. Uh, let me just check. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this point. Apple is removing keywords. Check this out, guys. Uh, kill the Ragdoll Stickman boss, okay. Uh, this is iOS iTunes, and uh, check out the keywords, okay. Hitman Sniper, and it does not appear in the App Store. It is not there, okay. Hitman Sniper is not there. Uh, let's try uh, Hitman Go. Hitman Go, and it's not there either because Hitman has been removed from the keywords, even though it's in the list. So Apple, you got to check your keywords even after it's live, guys. What used to happen? See, it's not there again. What used to happen, guys, is um, Apple would just remove the keywords from here. For example, you'd put your hundred character keywords in, and then you'd be approved and then you'd see if they'd removed any or not. The keyword is still there. I've not misspelt that or anything. No, that looks good. Okay, but it still does not appear in the App Store. So, you know, I think that's a total pain in the ass in my opinion. I get what they're trying to do. Obviously, they don't want people like to spam a particular keyword. Um, Hitman is probably like a registered trademark, I'm guessing. Even though Hitman is also a generic term, I believe, it's like assassin. Assassin is a, a generic term as well. It's not. A, it's not a trademark. Even though King has now apparently trademarked the word candy. That's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, but yeah. So be careful, guys. When you do update your game on iTunes, take a look at the. Uh, do a search for the game using those keyword searches. Like I've just done Hitman Go and Hitman Sniper, and our game is not there. So we can't use the word Hitman anymore, unless maybe the game is very specifically a Hitman game. So, a uh, big tip, guys. I just found that out the other day. Uh, luckily, though, that game is still getting some very good downloads, even though that Hitman keyword is not there right now. Um, so, next point. Uh, okay, so new videos on the Pro channel. Let me just find this part. So, yeah, uh, I've been continuing to build the How to Make Mobile Games Pro channel as well. I know a lot of you were upset that I had to to start doing pro videos instead of doing free videos. Um, you know, I'm sorry to upset you guys, but really the YouTube channel has to be able to pay itself 
for me to devote time in doing it. Um, it's just a fact, you know, you have to consider cash flow first as a business. It has to come first. Uh, the only alternative is to just not do videos uh, and maybe do one every month or something just to say hi. Um, not that I don't get other benefit from doing the videos as well, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys anyway. It's up and running. I've done a bunch of videos so far on the pro channel and they're all listed here as well. Um, like for example, we've done A-B testing on icons uh, to get more downloads. Uh, this is also an A-B testing video that we did talking about VR up here. Amazon App Store SEO, uh, that's how we do SEO on Amazon at the moment, a an example video of how we find keywords. And that's been pretty useful. Um, a couple of people mentioned that's already been really good uh, and they've increased their downloads. Uh, general sort of revenue videos as well here and uh, also compatibility testing and then another uh, talking about money and downloads here for our game uh, Kill the Ragdoll Stickman. Uh, so yeah, I'm more A-B testing. I'm really focusing on A-B testing at the moment because it seems to have a really good impact on downloads. So I'm going to continue that. And this one was actually my wife's and that really improved uh, on downloads as well because of some icon A-B testing. Really, really useful uh, and the best tool I've found so far outside of keywords and outside of screenshots and SEO and so on. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out, guys. Uh, the way to find it, let me show you think I just need to go to view channel yeah how to make mobile games pro if you type in how to make mobile games pro you should find this channel I need to update it I need to apply some artwork um, the other point I was gonna make as well guys a lot of people said you can't access the channel on YouTube because a bunch of countries are not available I'm sorry about that uh, YouTube has just limited the amount of countries that you can actually do a paid channel for which is a really annoying thing uh, but I have added the videos now to a paid section of the forum. So if you're stuck and you can't subscribe on YouTube, actually this might be a better place because I'll be more active on here, is go to uh, howtomakemobilegames.com and the second part is uh, how to make mobile games pro videos here. Uh, and then you can click on there. I can access it already because uh, I'm the admin and I've set it up. But if you're not registered, it'll just pop up and say, hey, this is a paid part of the forum. And then it'll pop up with PayPal saying that you can access it through PayPal and you can send payment that way. Uh, it's also $3 a month. So I hope that the videos that I'm doing on that pro channel are giving you more than $3 a month in return. That's the whole point. It's a very simple goal for how to make mobile games pro is to increase your revenue more than the cost of subscribing to the channel. That's the whole point. If that can be done, then I feel that the goal has been achieved and uh, hopefully it's been realized on your side as well. Uh, I'm trying much harder to do videos for this channel now and get uh, a video done sort of every day, uh, maybe two videos, but also answering questions and following up. So definitely check out the channel. I'll put that in the link uh, below and also the link to the forum if you can't access the YouTube channel. Uh, in fact, the forum is probably the first best place to go in my opinion. Uh, because I'm, it's easier to do replies, it's easier to post images, post uh, video responses and so on. Uh, anyway, that's it guys. I just wanted to do a general update and say I've not forgotten about the free channel. Um, check out the video I just posted before this one about hiring a developer in uh, Dhaka in Bangladesh for Unity 2D and 3D games. Um, and I've got a lot to do, so I've got to get to work. So anyway, guys. Have a really good one. Drop any questions or comments here. Uh, please like if you did like this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that supports me an awful lot. And yeah, have a great weekend, guys. Happy developing. Bye-bye.